alaikum and a very good morning everyone. Muslims and Jewish are prohibited from eating pork and only pork-free product is allowed for them. I would like to share my story as a Muslim. This happened a lot on me. Whenever I thought of having chicken burgers, sausages or any halal meat products, I will sometimes wonder, would there be any pork in the food? Have you experienced the same thing? I know these days it is so difficult to identify meat adulteration with naked eyes. Not even pork will mix with chicken, but sometimes even horse will mix with beef. It is either intentionally or unintentionally added in order to increase the profit. Well, it's business, but both actions are really, really unethical. There were cases where in 2011, the Malaysian Islamic Development Department, JAKI, has found traces of pig DNA in meat products supplied by a pig-based company, which caused an immediate termination of their halal status, and followed by a case in March 2013, where halal chicken sausage served to students in central London schools were revealed to contain traces of pork as well. See, such a critical issue, isn't it? When we have been faced by these problems all the time, I feel like it is my obligation as a Muslim scientist to protect consumers from being deceived by irresponsible producers. Therefore, this is where my expertise came in handy, which I am very interested in halal CSI. My PhD focus in finding an alternative way for detection of pork in meat and meat products. Instead of using DNA, famous DNA, we use proteomics, meaning a protein based approach by using two-dimensional gel electrophoresis and mass spectrometry machine to search for unique protein and peptide that could match the pig protein in the food sample. More simply, I am create, creating a unique pig biomarker which will act like a magnet to extract out pig protein in a very complex mixture of meat. This biomarker is not intended for public use. We are not going to sell it in the supermarket. But it is specially designed to assist government and authoritative bodies such as ducking in solving pork adulteration cases. Any food sample that is matched with our biomarker will be considered as non-halal. So next time, when suspicious meatball, nuggets, meat products, you name it, is received, we just extract out the protein, put them in the machine, and the result will be pop up on the screen. Easy, right? <laughs> 